Thanks. Jim Gardner, Bob Mills, Sky News 9, over storm damage today in Paul's Valley. The storm destroyed several buildings, including a salon. A salon that also happened to be a woman's dream, fulfilled by her late father. News 9's Brittany Tulis has her story. These stairs used to lead to the salon's front door. Now they lead to a muddy foundation, and the salon sits about 30 feet away. This is crazy, like the fact that it was picked up off the foundation and moved. Layden Fraley's salon, Valley Studio, now sits in pieces spread across the yard. Saturday night storms only took about five minutes to rip the salon apart nail by nail. Like I know I was screaming, but I couldn't hear myself. Like it was just so loud, just like truly terrifying. Literally one week from the day this happened would have been a year. Layden and her mom picking through the wreckage, hoping to find something the strong winds didn't touch. The Scott uprooted from the wall it was my coffee bar then had a whole reception area right here with the desk that it was made out of steel and got turned upside down adding salt to the fresh wound Layden's late father helped piece together the salon putting a piece of himself and his love with each of those nails he hammered in I just always felt like I had a piece of him here it was just so special that since losing dad like I have this memory of building my dream salon with him and now it's just gone like it's truly just the only word is devastating and I'm just heartbroken over it. Now Layden waits to see if rebuilding will be an option. Lots of people in the community reach out and offer to let me use their salon. I would really like to rebuild it and there's lots of stuff I might be able to salvage. But. There is a GoFundMe set up to help with rebuilding costs. For that information, just head to the News 9 app. In Paul's Valley, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9. Brittany,